Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means it's time for a market outlook for this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, this week has a lot of stuff that we could see upcoming, so we're gonna try to get through these things orderly and quickly, but there is so much possible content that we could have this week in FIFA. Coming the week after a promo, uh, it's gonna be a pretty stacked week that I wanna talk about. Many different things in terms of Champions League, um, the second set of the Icon Swap tokens coming out, uh, basically Season 1 is ending, uh, and then possibly Player of the Month, and another promotion running this weekend, which would be UCL Road to the Final Item. So the first thing I want to look at is going to be something that would come earliest in the week, and that would be the UCL content. Tuesday, Wednesday of this week, we do have Champions League games on tap over here. Um, take you guys to Google to show you off these games. You guys know match day four of six, we have more group stage games. Uh, and this is where it starts to get down to crunch time for Champions League, as you guys know. A lot of big games this week. Um, Dortmund and Inter Milan is probably one of the bigger games this week in terms of placement in the table, points-wise for their group. Um, a lot of big games this week, and that possibly um, means some of those teams could be included in UEFA marquee matchups. I do see that as a possibility this week. Um, so again, I mentioned this on my streams earlier this week. Um, picking up a few of these UCL rare cards, I could see them being required for UCL marquee matchups, or as we talk about the possibility of to the road of the road to the final promo coming at the end of this week as well, I think these cards are going to be great uh, to pick up uh, and get and bid on. Stock your club with one of each. The 80 rated players try to get them on bid under a thousand coins, uh, right around 1k for a lot of the 80 rated cards. Same for the 81s, the 82s, the 83s. You can maybe pay a tiny bit more for, um, but the best time to get these guys if you can't get them. Um, like right away if their prices are up a little bit. Wait to see if we have maybe Monday or like Monday or Tuesday if we have some pack supply um, if, if they don't put out UEFA marquee matchups right away on Tuesday. Um, but again, if you're paying a little a little over a thousand coins for some of these 81s or 82s, that's not a problem with me because they, these cards are a lot more rare than their gold cards, uh, even though they're the same rating uh, as the gold counterpart. These cards are more rare. They're not packed as much, and uh, they're going to be required for SBCs at some point. So I think it's a great time to do a club stock with these. Obviously, you're just buying one of each, throwing in the club. Um, maybe spend 100, 150k, depending on your budget. Doing that. If you don't have that big of a budget, just try to buy some guys that are maybe from the the same league, so that if you had to, you could put a few of them in a squad. Uh, so I highly recommend that. Going to that page on Footbin. Let me take you guys back to this page. Um, this, how do you get here? Basically, you go to the SBC section at the top, go cheapest players by rating, and then sort by UCL rare or UCL non-rare, and it'll sort by the rating, 80 rated, 81, 82, 83, and that's how you can find some of the cheapest cards on the market. Go look at those, get on bids if you see some snipes as well during a rewards period or during a pack supply time if we get uh, some SBC a Monday at 6 p.m. UK, that'd be a perfect time. To pick up uh, some of these cards, the one that we just looked at was Kevin Campbell. Special version, how much is he at the moment? It says 1.6K on Footbin. Uh, looks like he is around maybe a little over 2,000 coins. So probably how Footbin shows it, they're actually not going to be on the market for that price. Looks like he's about 2K. But there's going to be plenty of open bids on these cards because, um, yeah, they're getting packed constantly. They are in packs. You can see here, people are mass bidding on these cards already. Um, but if we do get some pack supply, just chuck a couple of them in your club, a good way to prepare. I talked about that earlier this week, so I think a lot of people have already done that as well. So UCL, UEFA marquee matchups this week, that's a very possible SBC we could see coming. Um, maybe the UCL upgrade SBC as well, where they might include um, you know, a requirement for maybe one UCL rare player. Uh, if that SBC comes, I'm not a huge fan of that, to be honest, because you're just doing an upgrade SBC for UCL rare cards. So that's kind of all I have to say about the Champions League stuff. We should see, uh, we have games this week, so we should see a little bit of content along those lines. The next thing I want to look at is the new icon swaps. As you can see right up here by my face in the top corner, four days. It says four days, 17 hours left of season one. That means that in uh, on Friday at 6 p.m. UK, we will get a reset of all of these icon swap objectives. Basically, 
uh, the icon swaps online and the icon swaps single player will be going away. So make sure if you don't have these done yet, this is your last week to grind towards these um, objectives and to get them done. I'm going to take you guys back over here to Twitter just to show you the visual of what exactly is going on. So basically, when uh, when this icon swap started back in October, we have finally reached this point right here. We've had the first 12 tokens available via objectives. The next 12 tokens are now going to be available via objectives. So you're going to start seeing people. They're going to finish all these objectives, and they're going to be start. Uh, you're going to start seeing maybe some middle drogbas on on the game more. People that are grinding towards their drogba. People that are maybe grinding towards Butrogueno um, or one of these higher tier icons from Icon Swap, maybe Hagi um, or Gerard even as well, or some people opening base icon packs. Because if you haven't seen a lot of these, obviously it's impossible for you to have one of those cards in tradable at the moment, but you've probably seen people that have had um, Roberto Carlos, maybe some Nestas, some Pep Guardiolas. So you've seen people that have claimed some of their icon swaps already, but you're going to start seeing some of the higher tier icon swaps get claimed this week as well. I'm personally hoping that on Friday they redo these objectives and they include some objectives for the friendly uh, part of ultimate scene like the new friendlies mode that they revamped this year with the king of the hill um, with like all the different types of game modes that you have in friendlies uh, we can take a look at them in here for a second play a friend yeah let's see what's going on here um, all the different game modes sure uh, where do you choose your game mode yeah king of the hill mystery ball swaps max chemistry like all of these game modes, I, I wish that they would incorporate these into icon swaps. So that's my hope for this Friday. Hopefully it's not just all rivals or squad battles that they throw some of those in there as well, because that's going to be a lot of fun for people and it's something different. So that's the hope with icon swaps, but that will be coming this week. Um, so maybe you, you watch, maybe you watch some of the prices of like Drogba or baby Butragueno because people that have them in their teams that are going for them on icon swap might be selling some of those cards this week so you could possibly see a little bit of a dip on these cards possibly on the market i would say drogba would be the one that you might see the most dip on maybe gerard i would say those are the two most popular icon swaps up at the the second tier basically more than 12 tokens um, that somebody would be going for possibly uh rio ferdinand as well he is 16 tokens i know a lot of people want to go for that card and zanetti Obviously, he's not on the market, but um, in 85 Rio or the um, the Stevie Gerrard or the Didier Drogba, you might see a little bit of a dr uh, drop in their icon price for this specific card and maybe the card below it. Um, if the positioning isn't different, yeah, Gerrard's the same, Drogba's the same. So that's something you could see a little bit of this week. And then finally, I want to reach into the area. Well, first of all, I want to say player of the month. I made a video about this yesterday. The Aubameyang SBC... Uh, expires in four in four days basically so it expires on friday at 6 p.m uk as well or somewhere sometime on friday so this one's going to be going away and i think we're going to get the next player of the month sbc for the prem probably jamie vardy i made a video again yesterday on some possible investments for that so if you want to look at that go check that out and then something that we could also see this week is road to the final now this is a very popular promotion last year and it was brand new so I'm gonna go take over, take a look over to um, fifaauteam.com or fifauteam.com, and take a look at this stuff and kind of jog your guys' memory on how this worked last year, and if I do think it's gonna come this year at this time. So this was the UCL road to the final last year. Obviously, it started out with Champions League players, um, and um, some some of those players ended up being in the um, in the Europa League because some of these cards, once their teams got relegated or out of Champions League, they went to Europa League, Europa League, and their cards continued to get upgraded. So this was the squad from last year. It was a very good squad. I don't know guys that they put in this team last year. It was awesome player selection from EA on that. I hope that continues this year. And, you know, this year people are going to actually know how these cards will operate. Before, last year it was a brand new promo and people didn't really realize how these cards operated. There was a lot of questions around these cards uh, and there was a lot of uh, stuff that, like some of these frequently asked questions. How big is the upgrade? Each time a player is upgraded, they will receive an equivalent of an inform upgrade. If their team doesn't advance, transfers, whatever, there's a lot of frequently asked questions about this. So I think we're going to see this promo again this week. Last year, this promo ran 
Um, what was it? Last year, this this promo was on October 9th. So right now it is October 3rd. So I do think it is possible that we see this promo team in packs this week. I mean, I don't think that EA can delay this much longer um, because we just had a two-week screen promo. So if we have another promo, it takes another week. We're edging closer and closer to Black Friday. So you're going to start to hear people start to talk about Black Friday, panic selling, stuff like that. Um, and I think that is something that uh, this promo usually ha happened last year before Black Friday, kind of while the Black Friday panic selling was starting to happen. So we're kind of getting to that period again. We're going to start talking about that in a few weeks here. Excuse me, probably this week. We'll start to kind of form our minds around that a little bit. But this promo definitely could be coming this week. And again, these cards were very popular last year because look at some of the movements that they had after games that they won, after games that they, when they lost, or, um, you know, even after uh, Liverpool finally won, look what happened to Fabinho's price. He absolutely tanked. When Liverpool even won the Champions League, uh, people knew that his card wasn't getting any more upgrades, and that's where all the hype was in this card. One t at one time, 653,000 coins in April. But as you can see, a lot of these cards rose out of packs, um, and these were so fun to trade with last year and so fun to watch. They were like ones to watch cards, but on a whole nother level because it was Champions League, and they were, the player selection was so good that a lot of these guys... Um, were, were some of the favorite players that people used in their ultimate teams. A lot of guys used Griezmann. Fabinho was rock solid as a CDM last year. Tellez with um, kind of brought out like the, the Brazilian left side with the Neymar, and you could link him to a lot of other people, um, other Brazilians. And, you know, people used Davinson Sanchez once his card got upgraded a bunch. So these cards were very popular last year. We, we even had an objective last year. We had the Road to the Final Europa League version of Jonathan Ta which was an, it was a weekly objective and an SBC combined. So basically that's kind of what we had last year for that promo. Of course, these cards were in packs um, and there was, that's the icon swaps, there we are. Uh, these items were in packs, a lot of packs opened during that week um, and a lot of fun during that week as well. That's why I also mentioned um, probably picking up some of these Champions League cards the rares items, because I think if you stock your club now, before we have a lot of that stuff next week, uh, you might see, even this week, you might see some requirements for these cards um, in terms of SBC. So if you stock your club, they have a requirement that comes out in an SBC, you do the SBC uh, for a cheaper value and you can sell for profit some of your other cards. Um, that is something that we could see. So that is kind of an overlook of the market for what I think we could see this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's going to be the end of Scream. A lot of people have invested in Scream cards. So you're going to see a lot of people, um, you know, with Sabitzers, with Otamendis, a lot of cards like this that people are going to be holding on to and making some profit off on this week because a lot of these cards have risen up a good amount already. So if you have Scream cards, uh, looks like you're making some pretty good money. Basically, all of them are up as they are now out of packs. So watch some of these prices this week. And again, one thing I do want to mention is if on Wednesday you see a big time team of the week, we're talking Alex, or we're talking, um, not Alex. Uh, if you see Messi in this team of the week, if you see Mane in this team of the week, Kyle Walker is almost a guaranteed. But if you see a lot of high level players, maybe even Lukaku or Delict, some wants to watch hype in there as well. If you see a lot of high level players, a stacked team of the week coming out this week, that would mean that is a very high possibility of that road to the final promo coming this weekend because EA likes to juice up the team of the week when we head into promos because that makes people want to open packs more. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as well as we head out uh, through the week. So that's just kind of a look at this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. It could go a lot of different ways. We could have icon swap content on Friday. We could have player of the month on Friday and we could have road to the final on Friday. So it could be a massive Friday on foot. We'll see what happens with all this stuff. We'll probably get more information throughout the week. And as we do, I will keep you guys updated here on the channel. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.